Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie. If you're new here and love the Bengals, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you think that the Bengals will beat the Squillers this weekend, be sure to like this video. Uh, if you're already here, be sure to hit that, that notification button and become a part of the notification squad. Uh, so with this video, I wanted to touch on several transactions that happened today for the Bengals. They did not uh, make any trades before the trade deadline, but some interesting things happened, and they actually worked out tight end uh, Clive Walford. He's a former player for the Raiders and the Jets. He plays a tight end position. Uh, they also waived Thomas Rawls. And so my thinking is the Bengals could be headed towards signing Clive Walford uh, simply because they've sustained some injuries at the tight end position, most notably Tyler Eifert. But if you were watching this past weekend, it seemed like Tyler Croft sustained an injury. Um, so they worked out Walford, who also worked out for the Seahawks on the 8th and worked out for the Bengals on the 9th. And Walford is a guy that was um, drafted out of the University of Miami to Oakland, uh, spent some time there, uh, kind of flamed out there a little bit and joined the Jets, where he later was also cut. So kind of uh, followed the Thomas Rawls route of, you know, flaming out one place and then signing with the Jets and then getting cut. Uh, but I really liked Walford coming out of college. He was actually one of the people that I actually mocked to the Bengals a few years ago. Uh, before, um, I think when they actually got Tyler Croft, he was the other tight end that I actually wanted them to draft instead of uh, Tyler Croft. So Walford is a guy that's kind of a dual threat in the receiving game. But he can also be a pretty good blocker. So the fact that they waived Thomas Rawls could mean one of two things. They actually liked what they saw in Walford and expect him to cut on, uh, especially with Tyler Croft having his injury because um, after he sustained that injury, it was really just C.J. Uzoma and Mason Shrek really handling majority of the snaps. And with them only having two tight ends on the roster, I could see why they would need um, a third in Walford. Or it could also mean that even though most people might not like this, it could mean that they're also looking at uh, possibly uh, claiming Eric Flowers off of waivers. But I think that Walford is the more likely scenario there. Uh, Walford, I think, would be a great addition to this team. So that would be very interesting if they do sign Walford. So stay tuned for that. I think it has a very likely chance of happening because with them cutting uh, raw so abruptly that could mean that they think that Walford is ready to come in here and they could have some competition uh, from the Seahawks to get him signed so let me know what you guys think uh, of the potential signing in the comments and as usual I'll leave you guys with a who day all day every day and especially on Sunday